Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys a super amazing method of saving a lot of space on your computer. Uh, this is if you're using Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, most likely Windows uh, Vista and XP, it'll also work using this, using this method. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to disable the hibernation file on Windows. A lot of the time, there's Windows by default creates a hibernation file, and it takes up a good chunk of uh, um, space from your hard drive. And of course, uh, especially if you're using an SSD, you want to conserve as much space as you can. So uh, using this method, we're going to disable that hibernation file, and we're going to get a lot of space back. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. Um, and well, bef before we get started, just so you guys know, any, hibernation, it doesn't really, uh, m many of us, we don't use hibernation as much. The computer just goes to sleep, but, um, and it doesn't really uh, slow down your computer or boost the speed that much. If Rather than hibernating your computer, you can just put it on to sleep and it's almost the same thing. It's not, it's not too different and there's not really much of a drawback by disabling the hibernation file. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to show you guys... Uh, I'll open up my computer. So this is my C drive, my main drive. This is an SSD. Right now there is only 18.2 gigabytes free. And my size is 111 gigabytes. Only 18.2 gigabytes is free. So uh, I'll show you guys how to... Uh, when we disable the hibernation file, we'll see how much space we get back. So to get started, you can press... Uh, you can go to your start screen and press CMD, type in CMD to open up command prompt. But uh, before you open it, right click it and then go to run as administrator. And that's it. If you're using Windows 7, if you're following me on Windows 7, the other way to do that is press the Windows key on your computer. Hold that and press R and you get the run box here. And then type in CMD here uh, uh, to open it. Although I want to, I need to double check how to open it as administrator. But uh, yeah, you, that's that's also a process of opening command prompt. So once you open it, uh, right now it's in my C uh, colon backslash Windows backslash System32. We want to just go to the C drive. So to do that, just type in CD backslash and hit enter. Hit enter, and then you'll see it just went to my C the root C drive here. So once you're here, you just type in type in the command um, uh, dir forward slash ah and hit enter. And now it's gonna it shows you basically all the files that's inside your C in the root C drive. And if you notice here, there's a file called hyper file dot sys hyper file dot sys, and that file itself is uh. 13 gigabytes and that's just mind-blowing that's way too much uh, space being used for something that doesn't provide as much um, you know it doesn't it doesn't help out provide as much assistance um, in my daily computer use so uh, to disable this uh, you just want to type in power CFG space forward slash H space off so type that I'll put this in the description if you guys can't see this clearly but uh, yeah you can change this video to 1080p if you want and then watch it like that uh, yeah type it type this command in and then hit enter and now if we type in dir slash ah again and if if you hit enter now notice that we no longer have the hyperfile.sys it's not here anymore and you notice that now there's the amount of uh, gigabytes free is 33 gigabytes whereas before if we scroll up here uh, before it was 19 gigabytes now we have 33 gigabytes and the hyperfile is gone so that's exactly the same steps that you guys want to follow that's all you have to do and you save a ton amount of space on your computer um, and that's pretty much it I hope this video guys I hope this video helped you guys out 
and uh, make sure to share it with others so they can they can save their own space on their computers and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thanks guys and take care stay tuned for future videos like this